Roots and fifths are a commonly used technique throughout many songs. We're going to talk about what they are, how to identify them on the fretboard, and how to play them together. Let's talk about the root note, and then we'll talk about how to find the fifth. A root note is the note that a chord, scale, or key is named after. For example, the A major chord and the A minor chord both share the same root note, which is A. The same would be true when referring to a particular scale, like the A major scale, or even the key of A. The fifth refers to a specific interval. And remember, an interval is the space between two notes. I'm going to play a major scale and assign each note a number, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to focus on the first and fifth note that I played and really listen to the sound that it creates. Here's the first, there's the fifth. The reason why we play the root and its corresponding fifth so often is because they're compatible with many of the chords that we play on the guitar or the keyboard. Many chords only have three notes, two of them being the root and the fifth. Let's apply our knowledge of the root and the fifth note to a pattern that's easy to remember and movable throughout the fretboard. We'll be playing on the E and A strings, and I want you to imagine that you have a guitar player and he's playing two bars of A and then strumming two bars of G. What we can do is start off on the A root note on the fifth fret of the E string, and the fifth would be located on the A string seventh fret. So I'm using my first finger for the root, and then you can use your third or your fourth finger for the fifth. So we could play root, root, fifth, root. One, two, three, four. For the two bars of G, we could shift down to the third fret to our G root note. And then the fifth would be on the fifth fret of the A string. So we'd have root, root, fifth, root, 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 fifth, root. Be sure to memorize that shape. As long as you have the root note, you'll always know the fifth. Let's take a look at another pattern for the root and the fifth note, this time moving from the A string to the E string. Now let's say the root note is on the A string fifth fret. That's a D note. Now we could apply the same shape that we just learned and head to the second string seventh fret. That would be a fifth, but this time we're going to head to a lower fifth on the E string. So all we have to do is stay on the same fret as our root note, the fifth fret. We just shift to the E string instead. So we have a lower fifth there. A string, E string. Root, root, fifth, root. Root, root, fifth, root. Let's take a look at these notes over the shoulder. First, we have the interval from the E to the A string. Fifth fret of the E, root note, and the fifth, A string, seventh fret. Next, we have the root to fifth from the A to E strings, fifth fret of the A string, roots, and the fifth is on the fifth fret of the E string. Root, fifth. The root to fifth patterns are widely used throughout many styles of music. Some good examples include Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones, Creep by Radiohead, and My Girl by The Temptations. So there you have it. Memorize those root to fifth shapes. You're going to be using them often. I'll see you later.